So we talked about it yesterday. We finally have the developer update letting us know what is actually changing from the PTB to the live drop of chapter 31.5 coming this Tuesday. And we'll break down everything in just a few moments. But before we do that, welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest horror ASIM news, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Now, let's go over to the update and see what actually happens. My guess, Twins is going to get killed, but let's take a look at it live. All right, developer update April 2024 PTB. This was just announced a few moments ago. We're going to break it down. As 7.7 .7 update approaches, we've prepared some adjustments after going through the feedback and collected during the PTB. Major twins update, a bunch of reverted. I'm seeing it. Victor no longer latches on to survivors who are in dying state. Victor once again latches on to survivors and injured upon pouncing, and Charlotte no longer gains the haste. They've pretty much just realized that twins was way too much. Twins was like S++++ plus 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 killer. Like they were unbelievably suffocating in the PTB. Like they actually made twins so good that literally no one would play anyone but them. How good they become. We have received a lot of comments about the twins strength during the PTB. We have made a decision to revert the changes to Victor's pounce but keep various quality of life improvements faster change between Charlotte and Victor, ability to recall Victor, and add-ons adjustment to the base kit inclusion. We may revisit Twins in a future update if necessary, but these smaller tweaks will make Twins feel better to play in the time being. Yeah, th there was just no way in hell any of that was going to reach live play. It was just unbelievable. All right, let's take a look at Blight now. Uh, he's a minor update change. Summoning Stone add-on. This will increase initial restoration by 0.5 seconds. Was one. And Soul Chemical add-on. This increases the initial rush speed by 5%. Down from the 10 it was on PTB. So even Blight didn't fully come out of it. Uh, dev note feedback around Blight often centered on two add-ons and his improved collision detection. We made adjustments, additions to these slightly add-on. Their strength will maintain usefulness. The Blight's collision detection will remain as it was on the PTB and will continue ongoing efforts to improve the collision across all maps. DS. Oh, the DS is going to be revived, but they removed the strike animation. Oh, I wanted to stab people. Come on ultimate weapon the following changes were part of the future update the perk remains as it was on the ptb re reverted affecting survivors once again scream as they have their aura reveal change new effects within 32 meters previously inside the killer's terror radius okay so they've reverted it back to screaming instead of aura reveal so it looks like you will not be able to use distortion now against ultimate weapon let's read the dev note We've received some mixed feedback during the PTB. While the perk was less appealing for some killers, it remained a strong choice with killers with high mobility. To make strength a little more even across more killers, we have changed ultimate weapon to be based on locker position rather than the killers. This way, without traversal abilities or with smaller terror ratings, can take advantage of the perk more consistently without being excessively on high mobility killers. With this in mind, we have also brought back the Scream to allow synergies with other perks once again. So, it's now not based on how the killer moves around the map. It's based on the locker that was used, and it once again will require Calm Spirit if you want to counter ultimate weapon. So these are the major changes that are coming out of the PTB. These are the things that were reverted. We had really taken a long time to hear on it, and now we know why. So at zero time did I think these changes to Twins were going to make the light of day. And I've said this since I did my PTB videos. I've said this since I was playing on the PTB. Just Twins were just too good. Um, I'm actually kind of happy with what they did with Ultimate Weapon. I didn't feel it was fair to nerf it the way they did. So I like the changes. I think that was a fair compromise by giving it back its screen, but now making it based on the actual choice of where they're using it rather than the killer moving around and getting the activation. I'm okay with that. I feel like that is a fair compromise on Ultimate Weapon. I'm sad Decisive Strike is losing the stab animation. I wonder if it was causing bugs. But it was really fun to stab people. But I'm glad that Decisive Strike is still going back up to five seconds. I feel like that is the big win, even though the funsies part is being eliminated. Uh, Blight, whatever. Like, it is what it is. And, of course, they didn't say anything about the store. So I think the store is probably just going to be as it was on 
the PTB. The chapter is dropping. The 7.70 or mid-chapter, chapter 31.5 is dropping this coming Tuesday. Obviously, we will be playing that night. We'll be checking things out. We'll be doing videos. It looks like they didn't touch adrenaline at all. So it looks like what we had seen on the PTB is going to be the new version of adrenaline. It won't wake you up during wake up. It won't add as long a haste after, and it won't freeze if you were being carried or on a hook so that is the changes to adrenaline i feel like they're fine like i don't think it's really that bad i want to hear what your thoughts are you happy about what's being changed are you happy that they just basically boosted twins a bit but didn't let them be crazy fucking good i want to hear all your thoughts in the comments Tell me what you think about the update 7.70. Are you happy about what we're getting at 31.5? Or are you just at this point now where we're just looking ahead to chapter 32 when the anniversary drops in a couple of months? I want to know, as always, thanks for watching and later, mates.